kids don't know what isn't possible, therefore everything is possible. I think that kids also feel empowered that as a 10-year-old, they can make a difference. It's not that small efforts matter, it's that small efforts matter the most because without these small efforts, there is no big outcome. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina hit the Gulf Coast and I wanted to do something to help with that. And so I decided that since Halloween was just around the corner, I was gonna like take advantage of that captive audience and trick or treat for coins instead of candy on Halloween and then give that money that I raised to hurricane relief. I called my little project PLC, which was an acronym for trick or treat for the levee catastrophe. My brother came up to me very upset and said, you know, I'm opposed to what you're doing and I'd rather trick or treat for pirate relief. We decided to offer him a title too. And so I was the CEO, which I decided stood for Chief Executive Optimist. And we gave him the title of CON, which was Chief Operating Nemesis. And so we put him on our website in his favorite Darth Vader costume. And the Today Show happened to be visiting our little site and saw his photo and then invited us onto their program. The Today Show got the word out. So after I had this idea, I sat down and wrote out what I wanted to do. Um, and then my mom helped me fax that to like TV stations and newspapers. And I emailed schools and governors to get them involved before Halloween. We ended up engaging like over 5,000 school districts in this. My goal was a million dollars. And I didn't really know what that was even at that point. But that was my goal. Two, one. When it came time to draw our efforts to a close, I knew we'd raise a lot of money. But it wasn't a million dollars. It wasn't even half a million dollars. It was $10 million. It was supposed to be like a two and a half month project. It just ended up being so huge and it had such an impact on me and so I wanted to create something to harness that youth power. Random Kid leverages the power of kids worldwide to um, drive an economy of positive change. We help kids to help others and we give them all the tools and the resources that they need to make that happen. When Talia is helping other kids raise money for whatever their project is, a portion of that money actually comes back to Random Kid to provide seed money to start other projects for other kids in other communities. That's micro-lending. So Talia was basically doing micro-lending before it became popular. One of the very first projects that we did was producing these house-shaped carabiners, and then the proceeds from selling these carabiners went to help to rebuild homes in the Gulf. We ended up raising $90,000. 10% of that went into a water bottle project, and the proceeds went to build pumps or hand washing stations. 10% of that ended up paying for little pedometers for another project that we did to correct clubfoot, and so on and so forth. One of the coolest projects for me was uh, building the school in Cambodia. We, 70 kids strong from 19 countries, were able to make this day happen because we shared a passion. Yay. To date, Random Kid has raised about $11 million. I think innovation is just problem solving, and that's what kids are doing all the time. I'm just a random kid, and so that's why we call it Random Kid, and our tagline is the power of anyone.